Now question, if you owned a million dollar uh, racehorse, would you feed that racehorse junk food? You'd be crazy to do it. But you put that stuff in you all the time. And you are priceless. And you are worth more than a million dollar racehorse. And you are the temple of God. Look at this verse there on your outline. I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices. Notice, it doesn't say offer your soul, offer your, your body, your physical body. So you can't serve God except in your body. You know, when people say, well, I, I'm not gonna be with you, I'll be with you there in spirit. I'm not gonna be physically present, I'll be with you in spirit. You know what that means? Nothing. Because <laughs> you can't be somewhere where you aren't. You can only be where you are physically in, in your body. It says, offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Did you know that taking care of your health is an act of worship? That taking care of your body is an act of worship. So, let me summarize this. I want to get my body in better health. And as your pastor who loves you, I wanna get your bodies in better health. Not just so you can look good. Not just so you can feel good. Not just so you can live longer. Yeah, I'm glad for all that. And those are legitimate motives. But because of these six. God created my body. Jesus died for my body. God's spirit lives in my body. I'm connected to Christ's body. One day God's gonna resurrect my body and I'm expected to take care of my body and one day I'll give an account for it. That's the spiritual reasons. Let me say them again. God created your body. Jesus died for your body. The spirit lives in your body. Your body's connected to the body of Christ. Your body's gonna be resurrected in version 2.0 someday and you're expected to care for it in the meantime. Now, based on these six facts, can you see how caring for your body is more than just I'd like to look better? It is a spiritual discipline. 